Good morning everyone, Scott Holowinski here and this is our file backup and recovery tip of the day. So today's video actually is not so much a tip but really just a side benefit of the backup analyzer tool that could be handy for a partner. Um, the scenario is this, um, it's really really common, in fact my computer right now the solid state drive is pretty darn full. I got a warning the other day that you needed to make some space because you're coming to a completely full 250 gigabyte SSD. Um, but using Windows Explorer, it can be really hard to figure out, well, where can I find some data to kind of chop and get rid of? For example, if I go to my C drive here, right click and say properties. Now, I've already made a little extra space, but there was like two gigs left uh, when I started this process. Um, but you can see it's pretty full, but where is all of my data? You know, how can I figure out what I could potentially get rid of or move off to an external drive to make some more room. Well, this is where a backup analyzer tool can come in really handy. So I'm actually going to go to my dashboard and run the backup analyzer for my computer. Let me just click in here. And again, the backup analyzer knows about every single piece of information on my computer. It knows where it's stored, how large it is when it was last modified. Um, and I get a lot of questions, what the heck is this kind of multicolored tile here? Well, this is kind of a visual representation of what data is on my drive and where it's stored. So if you start clicking inside of here, the size of the box is corresponds to either the number of gigabytes of data in that particular location, or if you click this button here, the number of files in that location. So I'm going to leave it on size because again, I want to use the backup analyzer to figure out where the heck am I wasting space on my drive. So you can see right now my C drive is the entire window. It's the entire 32.9 gigabytes of data that I have on this machine. Um, so if I click into here, you're going to see, okay, the user file, which I would expect, is all 32.9 gigabytes of the data that's marked for backup. All right, now we're getting down to the user. So again, the whole window is the S. Holowinski user because it's the only user on this computer. Now we have a couple boxes here. And again, the size of the box is the uh, corresponds to the amount of data being stored in that, that particular location. So you can see that 24.2 gigabytes of the 32.8 gigabytes uh, are uh, stored in my documents folder. And over here we have 6.9 gigabytes of music. So the box is much smaller than my documents folder. But this is actually interesting to me because I don't actually store any music on my computer. So how am I using 6.9 gigabytes of data uh, in this location? And when I click in here, it looks like it's actually all in the iTunes folder, which I would expect in a folder called iTunes Media. Again, size of the box, all 6.9 gigabytes is in this particular location. And almost all of it is in this mobile applications, which I have no idea what that is. I probably synced my phone at some point and it dumped a whole bunch of stuff onto my computer that I could care less about. So... Using the backup analyzer, I have found almost 7 gigabytes of completely wasted space on my computer. If I go back to my actual computer and navigate to my music folder, iTunes, iTunes Media, and mobile applications, here's all this stuff for apparently apps that I have a whole bunch of stuff stored for. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete everything in here because I could care less about it. Now, alternatively, I could go ahead and um, move that onto an external drive. But again, the Backup Analyzer, really handy tool. Um, say that you were an MSP and one of your customers called saying, hey, my drive is really full. How do I make more space? Even though this isn't, quote unquote, a backup um, related issue, the partner could use the Backup Analyzer to figure out where they have some wasted space and let them know that, hey, you have some things over here that you can probably get rid of. So again, just a cool uh, side benefit of the backup analyzer. Play around with it. It's a really cool tool. Talk to everybody tomorrow. Bye.